In today's video, I'm going to show you seven local US dropship suppliers that you can use right now. I'm also going to show you how I find these and exactly what to do once you find them to make sure you've got the best chance at having a successful business using local US suppliers. Guys, if you enjoy my content, please like this video, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and if you so wish, hit it, leave me a comment below letting me know what videos you want me to make in the future. Let's get into the content, guys. Okay, so why would you want to use a local supplier? So the first and foremost reason for me, guys, is faster shipping times. People don't like waiting a long time. It creates issues. And although you can get away with it to an extent with some items, it's much easier to run a business with faster shipping times. Having local US suppliers is going to really cut down on those shipping times. These suppliers also often handle returns and warranties, which removes a really big headache for you. Uh, they also generally sell branded products, which are A, easier to sell, have a better reputation, and generally a better quality products for the most part. Uh, it's also much easier to handle any potential disputes that come, might come up with any batch issues or product issues or faults in the future. So that that is definitely worth something, guys. If you're dealing with someone in your own jurisdiction or in your own home country, it's so much easier. Me, myself, I like to source local Australian suppliers for Australian stores. Uh, many of these people, guys, many of these suppliers are looking to increase distribution away from major retailers. So you're in a prime position especially the ones that don't know how to market themselves as well or just want to increase distribution, then a great marketer such as yourself can take this, take their product and actually market it and sell it to the world for them. They're going to want to sign up to this, guys. You obviously will need to fill out some forms and comply with certain things. But the great thing is a lot of these people actually have Shopify APIs or apps, which actually plug into Shopify, uh, manually allow you to manually import products and give you accurate stock counts, which is the number one issue actually when it comes to local suppliers. If you aren't able to tap into their stock situation, situation or pricing can become a bit of a headache. Okay, so in the next section, guys, I'm going to take you through the US-based suppliers that you can reach out to and start selling on your store. If you stay tuned right till the end, guys, I'll actually show you how I found these suppliers. Okay, so the first supplier, guys, supplier number one is Sunrise Wholesale. These guys have a big, big range of products and they actually allow drop shipping. okay? Now it is a paid program. You will need to pay a subscription fee to use these guys. But as you can see, they've got a lot of products. They're well priced. I'm going to take you through exactly how it works uh, and what sort of products they sell. So just looking from this guys, they've been in business for 18 years, which is awesome. They play in over 20 categories and they have over 30,000 products available. They sell products from lots of good brands, guys. So these branded products here will sell really, really well on Google Shopping. So if you are running Google Shopping ads, which is what this channel is mainly about, Google ads, then this can work really, really well for you. These, you basically are able to harness the branded power of these products and you can sell them much easier because of that. So the beautiful thing is they also have a Shopify integration uh, and they also integrate into eBay, Amazon and Big Commerce. So if you're selling on any of these platforms, this will plug and play, which is awesome. So the great thing about dropshipping guys is obviously that customers will pay you for the products. You'll log in here, they'll ship the products directly to the customer and you keep the difference. If you have the Shopify API, that's gonna actually automatically process a lot of that stuff for you to save you some of that headache. So all you're gonna to have to do with this guys is worry about the marketing. The other great thing guys is other than they've got tons of products and access to product feeds, uh, they've got same day or next day fulfillment, which is awesome. So really, really quick shipping times. They've also got top rated customer service. Now, have a look at some of the categories they operate in. Bath and body, candle holders, candles, electronics. And then once you click into one of these, you can actually find they've got tons of subcategories here. So they actually have access to even like fragrances, colognes, and things like that, which is really, really good for those of you that are wanting to sell some branded products and actually build a business around that. Google works great for this sort of stuff, guys. So I'll take you a little bit more. So here are the drop shipping categories. I know a lot of you probably haven't considered some of these. So why not start selling in 
into a category you haven't sold before. Maybe you want to try selling candles, ha have a holiday, or mythical medieval store. There's also obviously the more popular categories like sport and fitness already here. So if we click into sport and fitness, it's going to come up with even more categories like camping, fishing, fitness. Let's go into fishing and have a look and see what they're selling. All sorts of stuff here, guys. Obviously, even Hummingbird, really well-known uh, sounder, GPS um, piece of equipment. So obviously here, this is only accessories for this, which is obviously not... So even this sort of stuff, guys, you would, believe it or not, would actually sell reasonably well. It's a consumable product and people would replace it. So don't be scared to even range some of these products on your store. So now I'm going to take you into how this works. So guys, I'm going to show you how much this costs to sign up, okay? So they do have a seven day free trial where you will have gold member pricing on absolutely everything. Uh, after that, it's going to be $49 per month. And yes, it isn't available in every country. You will need to be in the US, I believe, to do this. Uh, if you can get around that by getting a US-based address or US-based business, uh, then potentially you may be able to sell on this, but this is mainly going to be for US-based companies. I'm sure there is a way you can get around that. I myself have not used this service, but it looks like a fantastic way for you to get access to local products that will, no word of a doubt, sell well on Google. The next supplier, guys, supplier number two, is for those of you in the pet niche or that want to sell pet products. Uh, pet Stores USA allows for drop shipping. They will ship direct to your customer. Okay, so they claim to have some great customer service. I know that this website looks quite retro, but these guys give you access to two and a half thousand name brand inventory items. Uh, and these guys sell a wide, wide range of products. I'll actually take you into exactly what they sell. Okay, so let's look at their dog products. They sell dog training equipment. They sell all sorts of products here. You would have seen these kind of things as well. Uh, what I suggest for you guys is, again, create or connect with this business, have a look around, see if any of the products suit you uh, or suit what you're wanting to sell. So guys, what I would do is just play around, go through the categories, see if there's certain items that you would want to sell, uh, if they fit your store. And the great thing is, obviously these guys ship all local products. Before you get started, I do suggest you get in contact with these guys. So just click contact, fill out this, this little form here and get some more information. But otherwise, you can actually just click here, get started. So guys, how to get started. <laughs> They're saying there's a form down here, which obviously isn't great. Can't see the form. But uh, give these guys a call here. If you want to start with these guys, I recommend filling out the application form or giving them a call and seeing how you go about getting a uh, account with them so you're able to sell their products. So me personally, I don't like this one as much as the other business. This doesn't seem as legitimate, but to be honest, what I find is the people that are offered drop shipping are normally older business people who do not have the marketing experience to sell the product themselves. And so they do tend to have more retro looking websites. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it actually is the case. So I know this website isn't a great looking website and it is quite retro, but these guys have been around since the 1960s. Uh, they're based in Cincinnati and I'm telling you now, they've obviously, I had a look at them on Google Maps. Looks like they've got quite a big warehouse. So they're definitely a legitimate business. Uh, I think they probably just have older business owners who aren't quite up to today's technology. And so it could be a good opportunity for you to get on here and sell something from their website. Okay, so supplier number three is Fitness Zone. Fitness no Zone guys sell, as the name says, fitness equipment, and they actually also do dropship, okay? So you just need to get in touch with them, give them a call or fill out this app, this little form here uh, and create an account with them. So basically you're gonna have to create an account. Uh, and then if you have a look around, you're gonna see they sell a ton of different products. They sell treadmills, cycles, elliptical trainers, exercise bikes, rowing machines, steppers, the whole shebang guys and then on top of that that was just the cardio equipment they sell home gyms smith machines power racks tons of different stuff let's check out their best sellers and they actually even sell commercial equipment so i don't know if you'd want to give it a try or if they do drop ship commercial equipment but definitely this sort of stuff guys is super high ticket and i'm sure if you went onto google you would find tons of this stuff for sale uh, and i i have no doubt that this would sell 
okay? I would choose several high ticket options here, try and run some ads to it once you've created an account with them uh, and see how you go. A lot of this stuff is actually branded too, which is awesome. So there's even, you know, rowers, all sorts of stuff, guys, really cool business. Uh, again, definitely reach out to them. They've been around a long time, which gives me some confidence. So get in touch with them and see what kind of their drop shipping terms are. Okay, so moving on to supplier number four is Brybelly. Brybelly sells tons and tons of equipment, tons and tons of gaming, education, toys, and sports. Lots of different branded products here, guys, and they do offer uh, merchant applications here, and I believe, and from my understanding of their website, they also drop ship as well. So have a look around, see if any of the products suit you, go through their the different types of brands they sell, uh, do some Googling on them, see if they if there are other people selling them is another thing you'd wanna consider. Obviously, uh, the pricing and then register with them, get in contact, get some pricing off them and see if you're able to profitably sell some of these products. Given that they're branded, I believe that they will sell well on Google. And once you're done, you can fill out this merchant application here, guys. Uh, and obviously they've got a few different uh, agreements you must sign, download, and then send through to them. So if you're able to meet all these requirements here, you like the products, fill out an application form and get started, okay? I really like this business, guys, especially things like toys and games. I think you could build a really cool store just based on these. Uh, that, And to be honest, you'd be able to find lots more suppliers out there where you'd be able to sell their products on your store. So guys, that's Brybelly. We're gonna move on to supplier number five. So supplier number five is a bit of a different business. It's fragrancenet.com. Uh, they've been an online business since 1997 and they do offer drop shipping, as you can see from this drop shipping page here. Now, let's have a look around and see what sort of products that they sell. So they sell obviously lots of big brands of fragrances, as you can see here, Calvin Klein, Versace, Dolce & Gabbana, all these different brands here, guys, without a shadow of a doubt. So no doubt, this is a really good opportunity to sell some products that you may not have thought of in the past. Definitely people aren't really showing this on YouTube. Uh, and this sort of stuff here sells really well, guys. Fragrances, skincare, makeup, uh, hair care, aromatherapy, candles, all this sort of stuff, uh, you know, it's, it definitely has quite good demand. I guarantee it has a good search volume. So jump in, create an account with these guys, and why not even start a fragrance store or add it to an existing beauty store, okay? So I hope you've liked this supplier, fragrancenet.com. Definitely check them out. So supplier number six is ModMate. These guys actually drop ship to 48 of the continental states, okay? They don't obviously drop ship to all of them, but all you'd need to do is exclude those in your Google campaigns. Let's have a look and see what sort of products they sell. So they seem to sell some, I guess, Scandinavian or mid-century looking uh, furniture, which is quite trendy. I do like the website. I don't like that it's not SSL secured, but definitely reach out to them. See if, you know, all sorts of stuff like here, wall art, uh, bar, mid-century, accent furniture, uh, I know this stuff sells well on Google. I've definitely sold furniture and other products similar to it in the past. This would work well in a furniture branded store, Scandinavian furniture branded store, you know, a homeware store, or even a general store. So play around, have a look at the different products. Let's see if it's something you'd like, uh, reach out to them, see what their pricing's like, and, and go from there. So I think ModMate is a really cool looking business where you could build your whole store around this or add it to an existing store. Hope you like this one, guys. Let's move on to the seventh and final dropship supplier. Okay, so the final supplier we're gonna to cover today is Mega Goods. These guys are a distributor of consumer electronic and video game items, uh, and they drop ship, guys. These guys definitely drop ship. They've got some really cool brands here. So get in touch with them. The website is really slow and retro. Again, I don't think they've got great Marketing experience themselves, they're probably a little bit older, but as you can see, some cool brands here like Razer, that would sell so well on Google Shopping. Uh, and you know, we can go into car audio, Bluetooth products. They sell tons of products here, guys. And so what I'd suggest is set up an account with them, uh, start listing some of their products if you're able to get in, create an account uh, and either obviously create a general store or branded store and start testing some of these products, see what they're like, see if you're able to make the pricing work. Uh, and I'll cover off some more details as to what you'd want to do once you find them. 
but definitely a good place to start your research. Mega Goods, check them out. Consumer Electronics. So if you have an electronics store, gaming, anything like that, definitely worth uh, a look at. Okay, so I hope these suppliers have helped you at least show you that there's tons of options out there, guys, other than AliExpress. Uh, definitely start looking and trying to find a supplier that works for you. Uh, not all of these suppliers are going to be for everyone, and not all of those suppliers are necessarily great suppliers. It's just a starting point to do some research into. So you're probably wondering, how did I find these suppliers? So all I did, guys, was dropship suppliers USA. And have a look, lots of them are in this article here and I did find quite a few of them on this particular article. There are other ones on this article as well, so check those out. Sell who's a, a paid service that you can actually get on and buy the data. Spocket, which actually plugs into Shopify. Uh, and there's tons and tons of different suppliers here. All you need to do is jump on Google, guys. If you find a brand on Amazon or any marketplace uh, and you see them selling, and it's not a well-known brand, but it's a brand nonetheless, Grab their name, put it into Google, and go supplier, wholesale, dropship after their name, uh, or get in contact or sales team, and then just reach out to them and see if they do dropship. So guys, it's pretty simple. It's not exactly rocket science. Any of you are able to do this. I found most of these suppliers within 10 minutes. Uh, so you can start building a bit of a database, start collecting information on them, and then you're gonna wanna do the steps I'm about to tell you in the next slide. So warning, guys, before you go and start buying products from these guys, I want you to make sure that you do this. Do your due diligence with any supplier you use. Reach out and ask what fees are involved, the shipping times, the refund policies, all these different things, because if you don't know the fees and the numbers and what's involved, it may not be a paying proposition for the particular supplier or products you're interested in. Ask them are there any minimum purchase amounts, and the, the most important thing is build a relationship with them, guys. If you build a relationship, you're gonna eventually get better cost prices and you're gonna be able to obviously scale your business harder by doing this. Also, go onto the internet and see if other people have used them, see if there's any reviews on their businesses, and to be honest, just get a good look and feel. Some of those websites I went through did have some red flags, like no SSL and things like that. But to be honest, mistakes are made and this sort of stuff does happen sometimes. And as I said, some of these people are older and do not keep up with the times. So guys, I hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and leave me a comment below with uh, some suggestions on future videos.